My name is Cassandra Warland, and I'm the live animal manager here at the Cook Museum of Natural Science. I'm in charge of the daily care of all of the live animals, both on and off display at the museum. I work with a highly educated staff that are trained to take care of animals, such as kale and other species, including seven that are on the endangered species list. I'm here today to talk about the pieces that went into the decision-making process for Kale's recent CT scan. When Dr. Keller and Shelby brought up a CT scan, we knew that that was the best next step for Kale, and I facilitated the pieces that would make that go seamlessly. Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Chris Keller. I am the consulting veterinarian for the Cook Museum, and I've been working here since pretty much it started. I was also able to bring with me today my technician from the Tennessee Aquarium, Shelby Ferguson. Shelby, before she came to work at the Aquarium in Chattanooga, was a technician at a sea turtle rescue facility in American Key, Florida. So she has a lot of experiences and a lot of knowledge with the subject. Between her and I, I have to give her a lot of credit as far as how well it's done. And specifically, it was nice to have somebody to call back because a lot of long work to see through. Today, we had a kind of a seminal moment where we were able to enlist the help of Decatur Morgan Hospital. They were kind enough to allow us to do a CT scan of kale, or cancer the sea turtle, um, there at the hospital. We have, as you might know, been caring for kale for over a year now, working towards curing him of a condition that involved bacterial infections of his shell, his carapace. The most important thing to understand is what happens is that, similar to uh, bacterial infections in people, if they get into the bloodstream, they have the tendency to spread to areas that have a lot of blood supply. In soft tissues, those form abscesses. In bony tissues, they bring about a condition that's called osteomyelitis, which is an infection from the inflammatory process associated with the bone. In this particular case, we had a significant amount of what we call osteomyelitis, and in order to treat that, you have to debride or remove portions of tissue and then treat them successfully with antibiotics so that those uh, injuries and those places that were infected are able to totally heal. Reptiles are famous for being able to heal incredible injuries and incredible lesions, but in general, it takes them a longer time. Their temperatures are cooler, they have sort of slower processes in general, and so it's been a long time since anybody's been able to see kale in the exhibit. We were able to do the CT scan in an attempt to quantify how much more healing has to take place. Um, we had real good cooperation, real good images. Um, we still are yet to be able to really review that and determine how much longer we have to go with kale, but the point being is that he's done really well so far, and our hopes are that he continues to do well. One thing we have to be very careful about is not putting him back into the exhibit until we are positive that he is well and he no longer needs our intervention in our daily or weekly treatments. Okay? So anyway, we appreciate the opportunity again to work with those folks over at the Human Hospital here in town. And we're very excited to, again, make one more bridge. We'll probably be talking about Another opportunity down the road when things continue to progress, to let KL have another CT scan and see how he is doing. Not only are Dr. Keller and Shelby essential to this process, but they have a great network of veterinary experts like themselves that take care of sea turtles across the country. This ensures that Kale is getting the best care possible as we all work together on the next steps of his treatment. This would not have been possible without the willingness and cooperation of the Decatur Morgan Hospital.
this is an awesome partnership and we're grateful to have such a wonderful community that came together for Kale. Hello, my name is Brandon Fisher. I'm the Director of Radiology at Decatur Morgan Hospital. Uh, we were contacted by Cook's Museum of Natural Sciences to see if we could help with Kale the Sea Turtle. We were actually able to get together with our radiologists and our imaging techs and we were actually to do, able to do a CT of Kale. This is the first time we've been able to image uh, an animal, much less an endangered sea turtle. We're looking forward to helping Dr. Keller determine the outcome of his treatment and we wish him a healthy recovery. Brandon was indispensable in making all of this possible. We really appreciate all of his help and expertise leading up to, during, and after the CT scan. We hope you enjoyed this peek into Kale's CT scan and that you continue to follow his progression with us. If you're interested in donating to the Care for Kale campaign or learning more, you can do so at the website below.